Part 2. Verdant Wind. Harpstring Moon. The Golden Scheme. Claude leverages his victory at the Battle of Grondor to secure reinforcements from Alliance Lords. Meanwhile, the Imperial Army continues to tighten its defenses at Fort Mercius in anticipation of an attack on the Imperial capital. Our objective is Enbar, the Imperial capital, but our greatest obstacle lies before that. And what's that? Fort Mercius. If we can't pass through, we won't be able to reach Enbar. Fort Mercius, the impregnable fortress, or so it's called. If I recall correctly, it's sometimes referred to as the stubborn old general. It is a massive fortress that was constructed to protect the Imperial capital. The Imperial army we defeated has withdrawn to Enbar. Fort Mercius should be short on soldiers for now. It would be best to take it before enemy reinforcements arrive. Still, there's a reason it's been called impregnable. The only real question is what our fearless leader intends to do. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Those muling lords kept me from leaving for quite some time. So, were you able to secure additional reinforcements? It's gonna have to wait until next month. It doesn't look like they can afford to keep supporting us at present. Then what should we do about Fort Mercius? Do you plan on waiting around? No. If we wait until next month, the enemy will have bolstered their defenses. That said, the prevailing theory is that you need triple your enemy's forces to take a fortress with a frontal assault. Right. That's what we were taught at the Academy. And this is Fort Mercius we're talking about. It's renowned for its strong defenses. Our current army isn't nearly strong enough. Hmm. What to do? Whatever you do, just don't ask us to scale those huge walls. We'd end up dead when they hurl rocks down at us. Yeah, no thanks. If only someone would open up the gates for us from the inside. Unfortunately, we don't have any spies in there. Wait a minute. I've got it. We sneak in, stir up confusion, and open the gates ourselves to let our allies in. Right, that's what I was saying all along. Right, nice one, Hilda. But how do you propose we go about sneaking in? Oh, disguises? If we dress up like Imperial soldiers, maybe they'll think we're allies and let us in. Do you really think they'd just open the gates for us? I'd be pretty dumbfounded if that worked. No, no, she's on to something. It's a good idea, Hilda. We just need to refine it a bit, and we'll be in there before we know it. Really? Go me! What is your definition of refining the idea? I know your go-to strategy is nausea-inducing poison, but... Oh, I maybe ate too much. My stomach hurts. Raphael, why are you eating meat during a war council? So, fearless leader, I'm guessing you're going to keep the crucial parts of your scheme under wraps until the time comes, aren't you? Uh, you know me so well, Judith. Whether we like it or not, this war puts a damper on all of our spirits. What's wrong with trying to have a little fun every now and again? Just leave the details to me. I delivered our letter to Fort Mercius. I don't think they suspected anything. I knew I was right to entrust that task to you. You've got that honest kind of face that makes it easy to fool people. Is that meant to be a compliment? What did you write in the letter? I informed them that reinforcements were on the way. It would have been suspicious for troops to show up unannounced. So, the plan is... We'll disguise ourselves as reinforcements from the Imperial capital and sneak into Fort Mercius. Oh, you used my disguise plan after all. We've also procured Imperial Army uniforms. Ooh, good work. I knew this was the only way. However, that alone wouldn't be enough. You did say the plan needed a little more refinement. Are you going to dress up like Edelgard, Claude? <laughs> I'm not sure that would accomplish much. In the letter, I included the name of the Imperial General leading the reinforcements. While we're heading to the fort, a separate army is going to attack us. We're going to be attacked? That's all just for show, though. It'll be our allies who are attacking us. Oh, I get it. 
get it? We're going to make it look like the Alliance is attacking Imperial reinforcements. Right. When the troops in the fortress panic and open up the gates, we're in. I'd love nothing more than for this plan to work, but I've got some bad news for you. Apparently, the notorious Death Knight has been placed in charge of defending Fort Mercius. The one who kidnapped Flame. The Death Knight. I did not wish to ever think of him again. He got some acclaim in the battle to subjugate Western Fargus. They say he holds the most military prowess in the Empire. Even so, we've got Teach here to command us. All will be well. You have to trust us. <sighs> so your big plan is to just trust your professor? Really, boy? Under the professor's guidance, I'm sure we'll manage somehow. We're counting on the tactics you learned from Captain Gerald. Prepare yourselves, everyone. It's time. Teach, this is for your ears only, but there's actually one more part to my plan. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but I have no choice. Absolutely. We can't afford to hold anything back. Thanks to Edelgard's strength, the Imperial Army is more unified than I would have expected. It was a painful realization, but after our battle at Grander Field, it's clear that we can't win if we don't pull out all the stops. I also realized something else during that battle. There really is something special about you, Teach. The reason we were all able to keep our cool in the midst of the chaos was because we all trust in you, in your command and in your strength. Everyone here believes that we will win as long as we have you on our side. Our faith in you is borderline religious. You and I, we have what it takes to free Fodlin from the Empire's rule. I know in my heart that we'll make it through to witness the world after all the fighting has ceased. That man approaches. Who are you talking about? You don't mean that professor, do you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. No one could take this fortress. Will Death's scythe claim you? Or will I fall to that sword of yours? While awaiting reinforcements, the Alliance predicts the Empire will continue to fortify its defenses at Fort Mercius. Knowing this risk, Claude and a select few advance, hoping to gain entry to the fort through deception.
like I've been reborn. General, reinforcements have arrived from the capital. They clashed with Alliance forces in the outskirts of the city, but should enter the fortress soon. You let them in? Make haste and slaughter them all! Huh? Why? They are enemies. Slaughter them all! I will not say it again! We made it in. Professor, take control from the south. I have my own task to do from here. There are preparations to be made for our secret plan. I see your skills haven't dulled yet, kiddo. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> Everyone, listen up! From now on, the Almiran forces will be fighting by our side. We'll work as one, and we will bring down that fort together! No! An impregnable fortress is a wide open prairie once you get inside. From here, we'll attack from the north and south at once. No different than a prairie, you say? <laughs> You've got a strange head on your shoulders, kiddo. <laughs> For Nadir the undefeated, this should be as easy as a walk in a meadow, right? <laughs> well, goddess or death god or whoever they may be, let's crush them to dust. At the ready. You got yourself killed. More battles means more strength. Let's make this quick. It's done. My orders?
I'd be honored. There's a way forward. What's my strategy? Steady now. Well done. Another victory. Shall we? Shall we? Let's go. I will prevail.
initiated. yourself kill. Report! The Death Knight is moving! It looks like they're abandoning the fortress and making an escape! We need to put an end to this here and now. Come on, let's circle around and cut off his retreat. What's my strategy? My orders? Let's go.
steady now. I'll do my best. You did it! At the ready. Fitting outcome. Shall we? Slow down. Amazing. I will prevail. Won't be in vain. I fought and won.
I'm hurt, but I'm with you. You got yourself killed. I'd be honored. Enemies are my enemies. Pure grit. <laughs> How about a curtsy? Still room to improve. You're really tough.
must steal myself. Watch. <laughs> this could turn the tides. I'll use this power for the greater good. After ready. Fitting out. Yeah! 
never let your guard down. To survive, <coughs> I will win! <laughs> I fight for justice's name! Strength is all for a mercenary. I'm impressed. Did you have to kill a lot of your friends to get here? Cause I'm gonna give this fight everything I've got! Don't worry about me. I always knew losing meant death. I must lead them well. Five years? Who'd have thought you'd end up an Imperial General? So, you wish to die? <laughs> as antisocial and unhinged as ever, I see. If you desire to slay me, follow. The appointed hour is at hand. More battles means more strength. He's hiding something. It's annoying to do what he's telling us to, but we don't really have a choice. After him! <laughs> wow. 
What just happened here? The fort? It's... It's just... gone. Hey, kiddo, what was with that javelin of light? Javelin of light. Well, that describes it pretty well. The fortress was supposedly impregnable, but look at it now. It's hard to imagine that the Empire would do something like that. But if not them, then who? And for what purpose? If they wanted to kill us, then why wait until now to use it? We almost died just now, and without an answer to any of that. Speaking of unanswered questions, why is Nardell here? Care to explain? I get the feeling there's something you two are keeping from us. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and see my subordinates off to Almira, kiddo. Wait, Nadir! Are you really just gonna leave me here and run away? I hope to see you again, Judith. And you too, Professor. I'll be praying for your safety. Nadir? Are you saying that Nardell is actually Nadir the Unstoppable? It's actually Nadir the Undefeated. Almiron's love grand titles. I knew he was no ordinary person, but to think he was the great hero of Almira. Hey, um, can we really afford to be chatting right now? If another one of those javelins of light falls, we're all dead. Claude, there are things I wish to ask you, but first we must hurry and withdraw. Right you are. Come on, everyone. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Claude, it is time for you to explain. Why are you so close with an Almiran general? Well, he did quite a bit for me when I was younger. When you were younger? So, before you joined House Regan, how and where did you meet him? There aren't many opportunities to meet a general from Almira in Fodlan. If that's what you believe, it's only because that's what you've been led to believe. After all, we have Cyril here among our allies, and he was born in Almira. Hey now, don't drag me into this. There's a big, wide world outside of Fodlan, and it's overflowing with different places and cultures. You think interacting with outsiders is odd, but isn't avoiding contact with the outside world far more unnatural? Don't change the subject, Claude. To the people of the Alliance, the Almirans are... It's true that there's a history of hostility, but why should that mean we're doomed to remain hostile forever? The Almirans aren't monsters. Just look at Cyril. Does he look like a monster to you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Right, Teach? What did you think when you met Nadir? I'll tell him you said that. And I'm sure that if all of you got to know him, all of your preconceived notions would change, too. I know you guys, and you aren't the type of people to reject someone without trying to get to know them. But how did those Almirans even get past Fodlin's throat? I doubt my brother would just let them pass without saying anything. Yeah, about that. I actually made sure your brother met Nadir in advance. What? Lord Holst met with an Almiran general? Oh, so that's why you were so interested in my brother. But wait, they're supposed to be bitter enemies. They fought each other several times before. I know, it was a big gamble. But rather than having me try to convince them myself, I knew it would be easier to just have them meet. They were taken aback at first, but sure enough, they hit it off. They were even drinking to their newfound brotherhood before parting. <laughs> it makes sense. If you take the greatest heroes away from the battlefield, of course they'll get along. Fighting one minute and drinking together the next? Men are so weird. Ultimately, someone's bloodline has nothing to do with the friendships they forge. Relations between the Alliance and Almira is a matter we'll tackle in the future. Still, I want to take this opportunity to make one thing clear to all of you. After we defeat the Empire, I intend to tear down the walls that separate Fodlan from the outside world. I want to let people and goods come and go freely, and in doing so, eradicate prejudices about the outside world. Huh? Would it even be possible to achieve such a thing? It directly contradicts the Saros tenets. Does it? I'm not so sure. In any case, I'm prepared for the inevitable protests and criticism. New ways of doing things are always met with resistance. 
During our time at the Officers Academy, all of you overcame the barriers of birthplace, status, and ideology. Having gone through so much with all of you, I have no doubt that, in time, you'll understand. I guess there were a lot of different people there. People we wouldn't have met through the normal course of our lives. Dusker once opposed the kingdom, but there was someone from Dusker there. Bridget once invaded the Empire, but the Bridget Princess was there. We ate at the same table as those people. Sure, sometimes we didn't get along, but other times we helped each other out. Can we really draw a definitive line in the sand and say one group of people is all good and another all bad? If I can realize my dream, Fodlin will be reborn. The old age will end and we'll welcome a new dawn. But if... Save your objections for another day, Gloucester boy. <sighs> That said, there are more pressing matters to discuss. Our next step is to invade the Imperial capital, right? That's right. I'm sure Edelgard is eagerly awaiting our arrival in Enbar. Reinforcements from the Alliance Lords should arrive soon. Let's make sure we're ready to greet them. <laughs>